How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition. And in today's episode, well, right now we are on the hunt for a Jedi Knight. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into it and go find her. I believe Mr. Malavai Quinn will be meeting us here with some of his troops. But we'll see how useful he is. Ah, these must be them. Ah. You're too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Kar has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. Mark my words, they will be hunted every step of the way. You fight for a losing cause, Sith. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. How incredibly boring. Living an enlightened life is anything but boring. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. I offer you the chance to surrender and live, Jedi. Surrender is not possible. I am in the right. I won't kill you, Sith, but I am leaving. So, I'm going to have to incapacitate you. Really? Just to give her a little taste of what it means to be Sith. Also, kick and chew. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. You just earned your pay, Lieutenant. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. I'm impressed with your fortitude, Jedi. The Force and the Jedi way give me a sense of something larger than myself. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. Hmm. <sighs> like, he's not what. How I play him, I don't think he would, like, kill someone who isn't armed. Man, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Uh, I'm not going to object if you want to die. There is no death. There is the Force. Bizarre. She just closed her eyes and accepted death. <laughs> she tried to ruin the moment. Bizarre indeed. No matter. The threat is ended. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I will be there soon. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. All right, so let's go and return to Quinn.
I'll just fast travel there because it's a lot quicker than just going through the elevators and trying to run all the way around. Alright, and now we're back to Quinn. my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi investigator has been stopped. She is dead, Master. That is a relief. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Hmm. Well, I mean, he did intercept it, so I mean, I guess he was vital to it, so... Lieutenant Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. High praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. The honor has been mine, Lieutenant. Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? It would seem so, Vet. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. All right, so let's get to. Oh, we gotta go do the ship hangar. Okay. All right, let's get on the little rocket boots here. I guess we can get on Kratos. Why not? My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. I will always welcome you, Quinn. It pleases me to know that, my lord. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. We share the same desire, Captain. I sense that as well, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. An intriguing idea, Quinn. Yeah, I'm so intrigued, I could yawn. 
You always keep me laughing, Ved. <laughs> my lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. All right, now we have Malavai Quinn. Interesting enough, okay. Now, some people like Quinn and some people don't. I am iffy about him. And you'll see why later on. But that's just me. Apprentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. I won't disappoint you. You haven't yet, but every new challenge offers the chance of failure. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. All right. Ooh, stuff. I'll take those. All the new stuff. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. Okay. So let's take off. And head to Nar Shaddaa. Gotta talk to Darth Barris, I'm sure. Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. I want to make a quick work of this place. Then you must remain focused. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Why am I killing one of our own? Delacan was my spy on Nar Shaddaa, who fell under Republic scrutiny thanks to Noman Carr's Padawan. He's smart and figured I would kill him, so he sought asylum with a rival there, Lord Rathari, an upstart among the Sith who openly disrespects me. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. Sounds like my kind of fun. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Sounds like a plan, boss man. Alright, to the planet we go. We'll probably rock out with Quinn a bit, just to see. See how well we do with him. I usually end up just switching him out later on, but it's whatever. It's nice to have new faces around.
right. Let's get on Kratos here. We need to go this way. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. And we're off. like jump off like randomly and hope to land on one of these mini boot bridges here. back on. We need to go to the right. Sweet talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well, we've been trained to take out Sith. Time to flex our muscles. I've suffered you long enough. Kill the Sith. He says it so casually. The fight is upon us. It is upon us. Not really going well for the guy. Hello. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prepped for me, yes? You figured it out. The obvious is my specialty. That's why I keep petitioning the Darth for a raise. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. You'd better be sure about that. You ruin his business, he's gonna want to chop you into little bitty pieces. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Hutts at cartel headquarters. If you burst in... Rathari would be none too pleased. Neither would the Hutts. The cartel is an Imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them, he has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. There won't be a heart left beating. It could get hairy. Those oversized slugs have some pretty buff bodyguards. When all this intrigue is over and Rathari is a memory, maybe we can get to know each other better. We'll see if I'm in the mood. If killing a Sith Lord doesn't make you feel social, not much will. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. Man, usually you think that you'd be the one that hitting on like the NPCs, but now the NPC is hitting on you. What a crazy time to be alive. All right, level 24. Let's jump on our. Beast. 
check the map. Oh, looks like we are headed out to bigger and better things. Hopefully. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Go ahead and jump. Oh, look at that. Parkour master. Jump on craters here. Pretty far in there, okay. Well, should have done that. I expected that to be a difficult fight. He did. <laughs> huh, really? Just the one person? You expected that to be difficult? Fudger. Alright. Can we continue on peacefully? Be nice. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. <laughs> I am your other choice. How do I warn you, Vaska? I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Have you also anticipated your doom? Choose for your matter, Chitoya. Nakma no yo Choskinawi. I have no quarrel with you, but Rathari must die. The drop of Gumani, umpibodamalia bedwana nibobo. 
Uchuso yo mata chitoya, nakma no yo choski nawi. I urge you to stand aside and watch me dispatch this pretender. No chaki chawa, choto ke kwanga choska. Maguta palko chokin wampa la hagwa kila chikoska. Cha porko utmangisa, mitisa rota kopara. Tatanin chista luka, ubaziki tanti ruha. Gorwe ni naka, kisori fe opa uta guta. You're wasting your time, just die. Ikuramo, ubanjoralipa istingo o. Ah, when she goes back to the Ulya. Our alliance begins with the death of Paris's slave. Attack! No. No. Get wrecked. Oh. I just dispatch you guys, so. Never mind. Fire at will. <laughs> Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. Well, that was fun. Well, I think we're actually going to leave the episode off here. If y'all enjoyed today's episode, go and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see y'all then. Goodbye.